Hey guys, it is Marianne with your tip of the day. And today we're going to look at how you can skip doing decisions via an email thread and waiting for people and how you can create a poll in your chat. So to start with, we're working with Teams on the desktop. I am working on a Mac. We've headed down in the sidebar on the left-hand side down to the apps section. And when we go in here, we type in polls. And you can see we've got this one here called polls by Microsoft, and it allows you to create them inside Teams. Now you may need to add this if you haven't worked with it before. I'm gonna hit open and I can choose which channel I want to pop it in. So I'm gonna pop this one in a chat. So it can go into a channel or a chat or a meeting. Go, go. So it's now going to build it to go into that space. Um, go, okay. So we can create a new poll and I can now choose. Now a poll is typically a single question where people can choose an answer. So we can allow them to do multiples. We can also record names of respondents, which would be visible to me as the creator. So we can say, um, oh, we're going for lunch together and we can have, and you see based on same as in forms, it will give you some options. So we're gonna go yes and no, um, don't let them choose odd, multiple selectors and I'm going to preview it. This is what it will look like. We can edit it, which will take us back to go or we can hit send and it's gonna pop that into the chat. There it is. So you can see the team thrive via polls has added this one. This is the results. So I'm gonna go yes and submit my vote. My response was sent to the app. Um, I'm actually now going to jump across into my other account and you'll see there's a message here. This is for me as the receiver. So you can see someone has said yes, I'm going to say yes. Um, and it, if I, actually I'm gonna say no, so you can see the difference. I'm gonna go submit vote. My response was sent to the app and you can see we've got a 50-50 split with two responses. If I jump back to my account, can see it's now showing me exactly the same in my thread. So great way if you're looking for dates for next meetings or uh, dietary requirements for people who are in attendance for an upcoming event or dates that suit things or um, approvals on decisions in meetings, you know, voting for and against, really handy tool to have a look at.